Good evening, baseball fans, and welcome to Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, home of the New York Yankees, who are 41 and 47 as they play host to the 50 and 39 Seattle Mariners here in the first game for both of these teams after the All-Star break. And the Yankees will be entering the second half of the season without their big right-hander, Big Michael Pineda, who broke his arm before the All-Star break, and he's on the 60-day DL. So for an extended period of time, they will be playing without Pineda. The Mariners lineup is as follows. Leading things off is center fielder Austin Jackson, followed by left field Dustin Ackley. Third base Kyle Seeger, right field Nelson Cruz. DH Justin Ruggiano, first base Logan Morrison. Shortstop Brad Miller, second base Ricky Weeks. And rounding things out is the catcher Mike Zanino. While on the mound for the Yankees is the 21-year-old right-hander from the Dominican Republic, Luis Severino, making his major league debut he was called up as a temporary guy in the big leagues to replace Pineda. Digging into the batter's box now to lead off the ball game is Austin Jackson, the former New York Yankees prospect. Luis Severino deals his first pitch of his major league career, and it's a strike 94-mile-per-hour fastball on the gun. Count runs to 1-2 on Jackson. Kick in the pitch from Severino is popped into foul territory. To the left-handed batter's box, and McCann it puts it away for the first out of Severino's career. One down at the top of the first will bring up the left fielder Dustin Ackley, the former UNC Tar Heel, college championship, college World Series championship winner. As the first pitch from Severino to him is in there, Cat runs the three and one. Pitch from Severino is taken into center field. That'll land in front of Ellsbury, who tosses into the cutoff man as Dustin Ackley has himself a one-out single in the top of the first. That'll bring up Kyle, not related to Bob Seeger, the third baseman, who's struggling, hitting 150 in his last five games. Severino sets first pitch, nicks the outside corner, 94 on the gun. Fastball, 0-1 count, kick in the pitch, is chopped to the first baseline. Severino fields, tosses the first, and that's two down in the top of the first inning. But Ackley moves up to second base for the big power hitter Nelson Cruz, hitting 241 of the season with 12 dingers. Here comes the 12th pitch of the ball game from Severino. That swung through 94 on the gun, down and away. Count runs to 0 2 now on Cruz. Pitch from Severino is taken, grounded up the middle into center field. Ellsbury fields, Ackley rounds third, heads home. The throw to the plate is late. Ackley scores, and Cruz moves up the second on the throw as the Mariners jump out to a 1-0 lead in the top of the first. This brings up the all-star, Justin Ruggiano, the DH today. First pitch from Severino, the at-bat, and that's going to nick the outside corner, 95 on the gun. Count runs to 0-2 now. Cruz on second base. Kicking the pitch from Severino is swung through the up and in fastball. He goes down swinging. And Severino gives up one run in the top of the first as the Mariners are up 1-0. Welcome back to Yankees Baseball as the Bombers lineup today is center fielder Jacoby Ellsbury, left field Brett Gardner, right field Carlos Beltran, DH Alex Rodriguez, first base Kyle Parker, catcher Brian McCann, third base Chase Headley, second base Kevin Franzen, and shortstop D.D. Gregorius. While the mound for the Seattle Mariners is the Washington native from Gonzaga University in Spokane, Washington. Tyler Olson, the left-hander, 7-5 on the season with a 2.92 ERA in 17 starts in his first Major League season. And making his way to the plate now to lead things off for the Yankees is Jacoby Ellsbury, who leads the Yankees in all of Major League Baseball in stolen bases. First pitcher from Olsen mixes the strike zone outside corner. 88 on the gun fastball. Kent runs the 2-1 on Ellsbury. Pitcher Molson is broken bat, shattered to second base, Weeks fields, tosses the first base, easy play for him. Just had to avoid the bat, and he did as he puts the way Ellsbury away for the first down. And now another speedster, Brett Gardner, makes his way to the plate. Here comes the first pitch of the at bat from Olsen, and that's going to miss the up of the strike zone. It's 2-0 count now on Gardner, and that's going to be swung on, taken opposite way into left field. Ackley goes back, and he puts it away 
for the second out of the bottom half of the first inning is now that will bring up the three hitter, the right fielder Carlos Beltran, who is the Yankees home run leader with 11 dingers on the season. First pitch from Olsen misses the strike zone. And the count runs to 2-1 now on Beltran. Kick in the pitch from Olsen is taken to the left field line. That's barely fair. Little roll into the corner. Beltran rounds first. He's heading into second. Here comes the throw to the cutoff man. And Beltran is in there with a double with two outs in the inning. His 24th two-bagger of the season as Alex Rodriguez digs in. And he takes the first pitch opposite way. But this will be into the glove of Nelson Cruz. As they do get a runner in Carlos Beltran to second base. And they're first in the ball game, but the Yankees do get no runs, so it's still a 1-0 Mariners lead. Welcome back to the top half of the second inning, as Luis Severino will be facing Logan Morrison, the first baseman, to lead off the second. 18th pitch of the ball game is Nick in the outside corner. Count starts off at 0-1, and now it runs the 2-1 on Morrison. The kick and the pitch from Severino is taken into the right field gap that bleeds in between the second baseman and first baseman as Logan Morrison has himself a single to start off the inning. That'll bring up Mr. Modern Day Classic. The stirrups, no batting glove, shortstop Brad Miller. Severino gets set at the belt. The pitch misses the strike zone. 85 change up on the gun. 2-0 count now on Miller. Severino sets, kicks, fires, and that ball's taken into deep left center. That's in Death Valley. Can Ellsbury get to it? He cannot. That'll roll to the wall as Morrison rounds third, heads home. And Miller holds up at second base, but he picks himself up an RBI double here with no outs. And the Mariners are now up 2-0 over the Yankees. As Ricky Weeks digs in, first pitch to him. Nicks the bottom half of the strike zone. 86 changeup on the gun. Kent runs to 0-1 now. The kick in the pitch from Severino is taken over the head of Gregorius. Gardner fields in left, but Miller is not stopping at third as he scores on the play. And Ricky Weeks picks himself up an RBI single. And the Mariners are now up by a score of 3-0 here in the top of the second with nobody out. As Mike Sandino digs in, the catcher, the former Florida Gator catcher. First pitch in there for a strike. Next pitch from Severino is popped into shallow right field. Beltron gives chase. He is camped under it. As he'll put this one away and Ricky Weeks will retreat back to first base. And now that will bring up the leadoff man back to the top of the order, Austin Jackson. The center fielder, Severino sets at the belt. The pitch is taken in between second and first into the right field while Weeks will hold up at second base. But Austin Jackson has himself a single and it's first and second now for the left fielder, Dustin Ackley, the former UNC Tar Heel. Like I said back in the first inning, 1-2 count. And he swings through it. Dustin Ackley goes down swinging. And the Severino picks up a strikeout with two outs now. 2-2 two -two count on Morrison. Grand out to Gregorius. Fields it. Tosses the first. Scoop from Parker. And that's the final out of the top of the second inning. But not before the Mariners strike for two more as they extend their lead to 3-0 over the Yankees here in the Bronx. Welcome back to the bottom half of the third inning as Jacoby Ellsbury digs in for the Yankees over one so far in the day. But the grand dat in the first, 1-0 count, is swung on, grounded to second base, fielded by Weeks, tosses over to first, and he gets the fleet-footed fleet Ellsbury correction out, no problemo. And that'll bring up another speedster in Brett Garner, the country boy. First pitch from Olsen, misses the inside half, 78 slider on the gun. Count evens out at 2-2 now. 42nd pitch of the ball game is chopped at the third baseline. Zunino fields it, but Gardner is chugging down the line, and he beats it out. As Zunino cannot throw out Gardner at first base. So he has himself an infield single as Carlos Beltran digs in with an 0-1 count. Here comes the pitch from Olsen. Gardner takes off for second base. He slides in. You might as well call him the Flash. Barry Allen into second base, basically. As the Yankees right there, you can see they are 68 stolen bases in the season, which is a major league lead. The 1-2 to Beltron is granted to shortstop. Miller fields it, fires the first. And that is the second out of the inning. 
but Brett Gardner is on second base, and that'll bring up the DH, Alex Rodriguez, who's over one with a lineout back in the top half of the first, bottom half of the first. And the first pitch is going to hit him. Hits him up in the upper torso area, and he's going to take his base as that brings up Kyle Parker. First baseman, former Clemson Tiger, dual athlete, quarterback, and outfielder, as the first pitcher also gets in there for a strike. Here comes the 0-1 pitch, and that's grounded up the middle into center field. Gardner's going to round third, head home. A-Rod moves the third, and the throw is late as Brett Gardner scores to put the Yankees on the board for the first time in the ballgame. And it's a 3-1 Mariners lead now with Parker on first, A-Rod at third, and Brian McCann at the plate as the first pitch almost hits him. 77 slider on the gun that just did not slide. Kent runs to full now, and that misses the strike zone. Brian McCann draws a walk, and bases are juiced now, as Olsen has to get out of this bases loaded two-out jam with Chase Headley at the plate, who is 0 for 1 on the day. The 2-2 count. Here it comes from Olsen. Nicks the outside half of the plate. Headley did not get the bat off his shoulder, and Tyler Olsen gets out of the jam, only allowing one run, as it's now three Mariners, one Yankees at the end of three. Welcome back to the bottom half of the seventh inning as Rafael Perez, the left-hander, enters the ball game for the Mariners. And he'll be facing the Yankees shortstop, Vidi Gregorius, who's over two in the day with two strikeouts in the bottom half of the second. First pitch to Didi. Misses the strike zone. Slider outside half. 2-2 two -two count now. Pitch from Perez is swung through, and that's three strikeouts on the day for Didi Gregorius, who's been struggling at the plate before the All-Star break and somehow made the All-Star game. So now the center fielder, Jacoby Ellsbury, digs in with one out. First pitch from Perez. Here it comes. Misses the strike zone inside half. 82 slider. Count runs to 3-0 now. Here comes the 3-0 pitch from Perez. And that misses the strike zone inside once again. And Jacoby Ellsbury draws a four-pitch walk. As another speedster and Brett Garner comes to the plate. is one for three with a single and a run on the day. The only Yankees run, and Ellsbury takes off on the play. He's into second base. Stolen bag for Ellsbury. He extends his major league lead. And now a 3-0 count on Gardner with one out. The pitch misses the strike zone. Splitter can't catch the bottom half. And that's going to be another four-pitch walk from Perez. As runners on first and second now with one out. That'll bring up the right fielder, Carlos Beltran, who also has a hit in the day. Double back in the first. And he is swinging on this pitch into center field, caught by Jackson. And the runners will hold up at first and second. So now two outs. Runners on first and second for the DH. Alex Rodriguez is over two with a hit by pitch back in the third. And the first pitch misses the strike zone. Curveball in the dirt. Can't run to the 3-0 now. Pitch from Perez. Misses way up high. And that's going to load the bases here. Another two-out bases loaded situation for the Mariners. And they're going to bring in Danny Farquhar to relieve Rafael Perez. As he'll be facing the right-handed bat of Kyle Parker, who has two singles on the day. And the first pitch of the at-bat misses the inside half. 94 on the gun fastball. Kent runs to 3-1 now on Parker. Farquhar sets. Kick in the pitch, misses the outside half. That'll walk in a run as Kyle Parker moves up to first. Ellsbury comes in, and it's a one-run ball game, 3-2 now. As Farquhar will be facing the catcher, the power-hitting catcher, Brian McCann, who's over one of the day with two walks, proving to have a great eye on the day. He's seeing the ball well. And that first pitch is missing the strike zone. Curveball. Kent runs the 1-1 now. Farquhar sets. Here comes the pitch. McCann line drive to right field. Will it go? See ya! Brian McCann, grand slam! The Yankees have jumped off to a lead, their first of the ball game, thanks to a grand salami from Brian McCann, as that'll knock Danny Farquhar the ball game, bring in Yoverbus Medina, the right-hander to face Chase Headley, as now the Yankees are up in this ball game after Brian McCann's fifth home run of the season. It's a 6-3 Yankees lead. The 1-2 pitch from Medina is well hit by Headley. Right field, back goes Cruz, but it's caught at the wall. Almost another home run 
but the Yankees will take the grand slam from McCann as they're up 6-3 over the Mariners at the end of seven. Welcome back to the top half of the ninth inning as Dylan Betances will come in the ball game for the Bronx Bombers to face the Mariners and try to close out the ball game here in the top of the ninth. Yankees up 6-3. Logan Morrison, the left-hander, digs in to face the right-handed Betances. 0-2 pitch is swung through the up-and-away fastball. Logan Morrison goes down swinging. That's one down as Dylan Betances is looking for his 28th save of the season. Shortstop Brad Miller digs in now. He has one hit on the ball game. 0-2 count. Curveball, Maderta swung through, dropped third strike. McCann sauces over to first. No problemo, and that's two down. But Sansis is now one out away from closing the door on the Mariners as Ricky Weeks digs in. The 2-0 pitch is taken in between first and second into right field as Ricky Weeks extends the ball game for the Mariners, keeps them alive. He's on first with a single as that will bring up the catcher, the nine-hitter Mike Zanino, the former Florida Gator. 0-2 count on him. The pitch from Batansis is taken to the shortstop. Dita Gregorius, who makes a nice jumping catch at shortstop, flashing off the lever as the final out of the ball game. As the Yankees win, the Yankees win by a score of 6-3 over the AL West Seattle Mariners, while the Mariners drop to 50 and 40 on the season, and the Yankees improve to 42 and 47 to start off this second half of the season. And the Yankees, if they want to have any chance at the playoffs, will have to have a much better second half of the season than they did first half. Luis Severino in his Major League debut went six innings, giving up nine hits, three earned runs, while racking up three Ks on the day. And his first Major League start equals that to a 4.50 ERA. While well, Brian McCann picked up the player of the game award, only had one hit in the day with two walks going one for two, but that one hit was a grand slam in the seventh inning that gave the Yankees their 6-3 lead that they ended up winning the ball game with. Brett Garner one for three in the day, Kyle Parker two for three, Beltron one for four. Winning pitcher Jared Burton and Batances picks up his 28th save, while the Mariners' Rafael Perez picks up the loss. And with that being said, that'll wrap things up here for this edition of Yankees Baseball. I've been your host, Jerseyborn, and I'm saying goodbye. Hey, I ought to leave the young thing alone, but ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Sunshine when she's